Inversions. C, E, G. Is what inversion of the C chord? First. The first. In order to invert the C chord or any other chords, you take the left, which is the, the, the one that's furthest to the left, and you move it all the way to the right. Okay? So what would be my second inversion of a C chord, uh, Mr. Stokes? B, E, B, E, G. E. B, E, C, G. No. Okay. You check it in. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Maybe the E and G. Right. E, G, C. Right. E, G, C. That's my second inversion. All right. So what would my third inversion be, Shaheen? G. Mm -hmm. G, C, E. Perfect. Because we're using a formula and we're taking the note that's the farthest to the left over to the right, correct? Okay. So, what would be my second inversion of an F chord, Shaheen? G. Of an F chord? Of an F chord. Um, A, C, F. Perfect. A, C, F. My third inversion, Mr. Stokes? It would be... Um, it would be the C. Mm hmm. A L. No, sir. It would be the C. Mm hmm. L A. Correct. Because you took mm -hmm. this all the way over to the right. Alright. What would be my third inversion of an E minor chord, Mr. Coley? My third inversion? Yes, sir. B. 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 E. E. G. G. My second inversion of an E minor chord. It'd be Shaheen. Um, G. Mm hmm. B. E. Right. My first inversion of an E minor chord, Mr. Stokes. It'd be G. No, sir. My first inversion. I'm going backwards now. Uh, it would be like B. Of an E minor chord. It'd be, it'd be G. The first inversion. It'd be E. Yes, yes, sir. E. It'd be E, C, G. Is that an E minor chord? Yeah. No. It'd be E. Mm-hmm. Look on the, the board. E. Mm -hmm. G. Uh-huh. B. Right. That will be my first inversion because the first inversion is the way you play the chord, correct? You got that, Shaheen? Got that, Mr. Stokes? All right, you can take your pens and paper out for a pop quiz real quick.